Hey guys, welcome to lesson three of Swift Programming for Beginners 2019. In this lesson, we will be looking at arrays. So make sure you have Xcode open and have created a new playground. So arrays are used to organize data in your apps and are able to hold elements of a single type. So let's create an array that stores even numbers. We can say var even numbers equals, and then for arrays, we use square brackets and then we type the elements separated by a comma space. So this is an array of integer elements. We don't have to declare the type because just like variables in Swift, it uses type inference to do that for us. Let's create another array, except this time we will create an array that stores the names of different companies. So var company names equals and then again in square brackets, we can say apple and then a comma and then a space, then Google, then Amazon, and so on. So because we only put strings in the array, it can only accept text values. Now let's look at adding and removing elements of an array. So if we wanted to add a company to our company names array, we can use the append method. So we say company names dot append. And then in brackets, make sure you use the double quotes. And we could say Oracle. And now if we print that to the console, you can see that it has appended Oracle to the end of the array. Similarly, you could add more than one item at a time to an array. And to do this, we use the append contents of method. So company names dot append. And then in parentheses, contents of. And then in square brackets, we add the list of elements that we want to add separated by a comma space. And once again, if we print this to the console, you can see it added both elements to the end of the array. You can add elements in the middle of an array by using the insert at method for single elements and the insert contents of at method for more than one element. So company names dot insert. And this time I'll say Samsung. And we'll say at one. So this at one means at index one. With arrays, we start counting from zero. So the first element is at index zero, the second element is at, is at index one, and so on. So when we print this, the second element should now be Samsung, and of course it is. A few ways that we can remove an element from an array are using the remove at, remove subrange, and remove last methods. So let's try that with the even numbers array that we created up here before. So we can say even numbers, dot remove at zero to remove the first element and when we print we can see the two has been removed from the array then we can say even numbers dot remove last and then just open and close parentheses and when we print you can see we only have four six eight and ten left in the array so it took the last one out and lastly, to remove numbers from a specific range, we could say even numbers dot remove subrange, and then in parentheses, we'll say one dot 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 two, which should remove the middle two elements of the array because there's only four. There's also an easy way to change an existing element. Say you wanted to get rid of this four and replace it with a two. We already know it's at index zero, so we can just say even numbers and then in square brackets zero equals two. And again, if we print, you can see the four is gone and it's been replaced with a two. Now, just to demonstrate how useful arrays can be, let's say that you're making an app that lets you roll a pair of dice and see the results. So we'll say let dice array equal an array of the numbers one through six. Now let's create two variables called random number one and random number two. 
And we can initialize them by setting them equal to zero for now. And now we're gonna need a function to roll the dice. So we can say func, and we'll call the function roll. And then for functions, we just do an open and close parentheses, and then we use curly braces. So inside these curly braces is where our function will be built. Now let's take these random number variables that we created up here and set them equal to a random number between zero and five. Remember that we start counting from zero with arrays, so our options are dice array at index zero, one, two, three, four, or five. So to do this, we can say random number one equals int, and then inside of the parentheses, we say arc for random underscore uniform, and then in parentheses, we put six. So basically what this is, is just a function in Swift that generates a number between zero and five. Then we'll do the same for random number two. So now we can say print, and then in parentheses, inside of the quotes, we'll just say you rolled a Then we'll do a backslash and parentheses, and then we'll say dice array, and then inside of square brackets, random number one. And then we'll close this off, and we'll continue the string, we'll say and a, and then again backslash parentheses, dice array, and then inside the square brackets, this time we'll put random number two, and then we'll close that off. So every time we call roll, we generate two numbers between zero and five and store them in the random number one and random number two variables. Then we use those numbers to access one of the numbers from our dice array. So if the random number one generated is a four, then we're saying grab the variable stored at index zero, one, two, three, four. So we roll a five. And if random number two generated is a zero, then we would roll a one as the second die. So now we can call roll by saying roll and then open and close parentheses. And each time we hit run, we see the outcome in the console. And that wraps it up. If you want to learn more about arrays, I will leave a link in the description to the Apple developer documentation. You'll find a lot more ways to manipulate arrays there, so make sure to check it out. And if you found this video helpful, then make sure to smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.